Hey, good morning. I am answering a question today about motivation because I get this question a lot. Uh, my clients want to know how do they stay motivated. And <clears throat> I used to get this question with my college students too because it's really easy to be motivated in the beginning of something, whether it's a semester or a relationship or a job. It's very easy to, to be motivated in the beginning because it's exciting. And then what happens in the middle of it is we kind of lose steam for lots of different reasons that I'm not going to get into today. But the one thing I wanted to talk about <clears throat> today was, excuse me, sorry, hi to who's ever out there. Um, one of my clients yesterday asked on her Facebook page, what did you achieve in 2018? What did you do? And I realized like I couldn't answer that question. I hadn't stopped to think about what I had achieved because I never stop to look back. I'm always like, what's next? What's next? Like, I, I, I'm like, I can always do better. I can always do better. I can always do better. And what that does is it, it can be like demotivating because you feel like it never ends, right? Like for those of us who are just have goals and are always moving forward on the goals, we can get stuck in the, I have to do it better, I have to do it more. And that can be very demotivating for some people. So I actually took her question and I couldn't answer it right away, but I kept thinking about it all day. Like what did I accomplish in 2018? And there were big things, like there were income goals that I made and there were number of goals that I made. Like there was a lot of stuff that I did, but like I really wanted to focus on like some, some things that were measurable. And I started to think about what was I not able to do at this time last year? And I came up with something really silly and stupid, but I wanted to share it with you because maybe it'll inspire you to think about a small thing that actually has a big impact. At this time last year, I'm not kidding. I did not know how to use Instagram. Instagram was like this foreign language to me and I, I was really resistant to it. I'm like, it's stupid and it's another social media thing and I don't want to do another social media thing. And it really seemed hard. Uh, I didn't understand how, the metrics. I didn't understand how to, I did not understand how to use hashtags. I'm not kidding. I was like panicked about hashtags. I don't get it. I'm a four, at that time I was like, I'm a 47 year old woman and I don't want to learn how to do this thing. And actually I worked with a, a marketing coach who ta taught me through a workshop how to use Instagram. I like had to put my pride aside and deal with, you know, taking an Instagram workshop. And I realized like in a year, I have learned so much about Instagram that I actually teach my clients stuff about it now. I'm by no means an expert, but I feel really comfortable on the platform. I use the platform. It's helped me get clients. It's helped me help people. But a year ago, I literally was afraid of it and wasn't using it. And that's a win. That's an accomplishment. Hi, Kelly. Um, what else? Oh, I also realized a year ago I did not have an assistant and I was doing everything by myself. And you just can't do everything by yourself, especially if you're trying to run and grow a business. So at this point last year, I was still going bonkers trying to find a VA. I hadn't found her yet, but I found her over the course of the year. So that's another thing I accomplished. And that was a lot of work to, to find her and get, get her doing what I wanted her to do. She's amazing. I didn't have her at this time last year. Um, I also thought about, I, at this point last year, my house wasn't done. Like I did not have this office. This room was a junky room with my, my son's Legos and the house wasn't decluttered. So over the past year, I have completely decluttered the house and the house, like you walk into the house and it just feels like, ah, which is what I've been looking for. Right? So what did I accomplish? Well, I accomplished like big things for my business, but I also accomplished little things for myself. And that is very motivating to stop and look back and see. And I wonder if you've done that for yourself yet. What did you accomplish? And it doesn't have to be like your income goals or how many people you worked with or how much weight you lost. What are the little things that at this time last year you wanted but didn't have? and that you got for yourself over the course of 2018. Because look for those wins. When you can look for those wins, they're really a way to motivate you to go get some more. And I'm gonna keep thinking about what are the little things I wasn't able to do in January of 2018 
18 that I am now doing already in January of 2019. Live video. I was terrified of live video. I was not talking to anybody in 2018 from the, a big part of 2018. But this has been a big push for me and I'm, I'm doing it now. Um, so I want you to think about the wins because it's very motivating to think about the little teeny tiny things that you've accomplished. So one of the things that I really would love for you to think about is what were your wins? I would love to hear what they are. So please give me a little note or an emoji or a little just blurb of what is a small, maybe seemingly silly, because Instagram was a seemingly silly goal that actually got me my first international client. And I was so proud of that. And I have, I, she really got help from working with me. So it was like good for me and for her that I learned Instagram where I wouldn't have been there. Um, so I want you to look forward to what's next and I want you to think about 2019 and what's coming for you. But I also want you to look back at your teeny tiny wins and tell me what they were because that's really exciting to think about how far you've come in a year. Thank you for watching. I'm Jen Liddy. I'm an accountability and productivity coach. And if this was helpful to you, feel free to, hi mom, feel free to like my page. But I started a declutter challenge in my Time Masters group and I'm going to put the link to that in the comments. Morning mom. Um, and so if you want to declutter this month, I'm going to help you do that. We're going to do three different kinds of decluttering, digital decluttering, physical decluttering, and mental decluttering. And we're going to take three weeks to do it and it's painless. So I'm going to drop the link, but I'd love to have you join. And if you uh, like this content, subscribe to my page. Bye everybody. Have a great, what the hell is today? Thursday. Have a great Thursday. Bye.